Oh, welcome fellow viewers. I am hella fucking tired, but I wanted to make this little video anyway. So, Xenoverse 2 has been getting a lot of traction a bit recently, like very recently. Now, what you see on screen is not why it's currently, you know, getting a lot of stuff or attention. This is just a small actual update for Xenoverse 2 that we're getting in-game currency instead of relying on stuff like uh, like um, TP medals so these new uh, TP medals you know we'll get more exotic shit W but what I've been seeing recently and a friend showed me this and I'm just like that looks suspicious is if you have been going around Twitter you may have seen this floating around Big shout out to Pema uh, Dads of the Revamp team for showing these off. All this is official. So in this uh, thing we have Android 18, Videl from Dragon Ball Super, Restrained Brawly, Supervillain, uh, Supervillain God Vegeta, Supervillain Rose Goku Black. Now. As you can see here in these videos, oh look, new transformation. And a new ultimate, I guess, maybe an explosive ultimate. Right, I love how someone asks, is that a Broly mod? You know, thinking, and they go, no. Right, I don't know if anyone has noticed this, but um, did you currently not see the fucking, you know, the at? This is coming from a mod channel. Right. Now, let's see. They did this, right? Two fucking videos on the two new supervillain characters, Vegeta and Goku Black. I watched these videos, right? I watched them thoroughly, all the way through. And as someone who has been playing Xenoverse 2 since fucking launch, the amount of people actually believing that this shit is official is fucking dumb. Well, what I say is, you know, the fact that people are believing this to be real, uh, to be a real thing, is hilarious. Ah, yes, a leak coming from a mod account. Not to mention, I saw their Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Super Saiyan God Vegeta videos of the new uncut DLC characters, but they are all mods. Forgive me for putting a fucking colon right there I am actually fucking tired and that I've been up since like six o'clock and it's winter you want to stay in bed more and I even posted down here I've been playing Xenoverse 2 since launch and I know what is and what isn't modded yes I actually do I have a keen fucking eye for movesets why because I played this game to such an extent I immediately know what moveset belongs to a character and what moveset doesn't belong to a character. So the fact that, you know, they've literally modded uh, Goku Black and shit with, you know, like, Vegeta doesn't do his, like, massive ball ultimate. He does Earth Shattering, uh, Earth Shattering Gallic Gun and, what else was it? Prominence Flash. He does that. Goku Black is a bit on more on the actually modded side. Instead of, you know, skill swaps, it's more of a hey, you have you seen this Goku Black Scythe mod that came out? It's basically just generally that. Like, the fact that this came from a mod account claiming all the shit to be official. I might be getting ahead of myself. Like, I would understand if this, uh, like, a fucking, like, I just don't get how, you know, they show this, right? Let's go full screen. Oh, 
Okay, this is mainly just different combo, isn't that? Okay, now as you can see, that little little move set that they did that he did just then, that is one of Vegeta's super skills, which has obviously been recolored. And I know that around other stuff, like you know, you got that, which I'm trying to think. Actually, that move right there looks more like the super super dragon. I think it's super, what is it? super Dragon Fist, but instead of actually doing the little animation where you punch him in the face, this kind of acts more like the ultimate Super Dragon Fist, where it just hits him a bit. Now we get, you know, the default. I think uh, it's a that one is a rush attack from uh, God Vegeta's supers. Let's see. Here we go. We get Super Gallic Gun, which is, I think it's basically just Earth Splitting Gallic Gun. And then we get that, which is. Like, that is literally just Prominence Flash, but. Actually, not even Prominence Flash. I'm pretty sure that's just fucking Final Flash. Just sped up quickly and added with the prominence flash beam so yeah and then you get just one punch which if you guys have seen my video on the new DLC you would probably not understand and know that is not the new Vegeta's moveset like, you would instantly know now Goku Black is a bit more modded Which, I don't get why they do that. Also, if you do notice that... Pretty sure the lighting on Goku Black is a lot more glossy than it usually is. Sure, the lighting is shiny, but the shine is very different to this. This is more of a gloss shine, where the other one is more of a just, you know, shiny. It's like a fucking shiny Pokemon or something. This is more of a gloss shine. The actual fabric of the clothing does not react that way in the actual game it's a bit more differently cell shaded I guess you'd say this looks like it blends and meshes like like curving with the shadows whereas the other one is more cell shaded so you'd have like different stuff see it'd be, uh, it'd be more like the hair on uh, the clothing so yeah there's that as you can see this like trunks has more of a like blend like mesh uh, mesh mesh cell shading you know and that like you can even see on his clothes which would be also the same for Goku Black if he was you know like like I'm trying to think of it sorry default or base characters will have a more like blend of cell shading whereas when they're transformed it will be the same cell shading but much more shiny right more reflective basically this is not what it looks like that's different so of course the shading is a mod you deserve a thousand so I think that little oh, that's a clue. Yeah, I think that is actually, that scythe model is actually from, I think it might be from a modded, like already modded, uh, Goku Black skill set. Like, you might say, like, I know people out there might be thinking, but what about, you know, uh, what about, like, you know, these controls over here, this is obviously controller, it's like, okay, and you could probably switch up your settings to do controller, I'm pretty sure the Steam version has controller support. You know, as someone who fucking bought it, yeah. I'm trying to remember what. Okay, this move right here, where he slashes across, that is Fusamasu's, uh, one of Fusamasu's default skill set. 
Not like Gurkha Black one, like. Yeah, it's the default Gurkha Black Rose uh, skill set. That in, comes in with the modded uh, scythe again. Okay, that is one of Goku Black. So Goku Black does, like, all characters have a different uh, set of, like, skill sets on depending on what buttons you press. If I remember correctly, there is one where if you get it right, instead of like kicking the character away, teleporting behind him, spinning around and then hitting with both hands, you can hit them away, pressing, um, I think, what was it? I think it's Y, X, Y, Y, X, and then Y again, which I think, I think if that's the correct one, I'm not entirely sure and I don't really go want to hop on X Universe 2 just to do that shit. Um, what, what the animation will happen is that you will hit the character away, Goku Black will teleport, backflip, kick them, and if you do an additional input, he will teleport in front of them, and then basically backhand them with his Keyblade. That is what will happen, but this animation has been changed, so like when you hit, so that is basically, that is it, like up to here, it's the exact same animation hit them away, he will teleport, back, uh, backflip, kick them, but this time, but this is literally, so they actually swapped it, so this is where he would backflip, kick them, and then they swapped that with the animation that hops up next, which is what, this is what he does next after the backflip, he does that, you know, but that's when you teleport this way. And then follow it up with the same fucking scythe mod again. Like, do they not have any originality? Goku Black's default grab. Now, that which is... What do they say? I'm guessing that's either... Div I guess that's Crimson Edge or Divine Spear. They don't really... It doesn't really show the input, which is kind of odd. That beam, I do not remember, like, what character has it. I've played, a, like, multitude of characters, but not all the characters. You know, I do have, you know, favorites and shit. Like, what's funny is that if that is supposed to be an ult, uh, ultimate or whatnot, then... No. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be Divine Spear or some shit, which... Um, I hate to tell you, but that's not a spear. That's a scythe. Alright, let's have a look. What does he have? Uh, he has Sudden Death Beam, which is a default skill of Rose Goku Black. Very handy as an, uh, a counter, if you get it right. Then we have Divine Lasso, which is the same. And then we got Divine Ray Bomb, which... I'm not gonna lie, that looks a bit odd for a Goku Black move because Goku Black never really does that in the manga or the anime. Usually, when they uh, when they actually bring out uh, like alt like move sets for characters, it's mainly either to do something from well, mostly in Xenoverse Two, it's mainly from the anime, which Goku Black never really uses the scythe. He brings out the scythe, cuts the air once, you know, makes the portal, and then that's it. Which, you know, I understand with the new character they want to introduce the scythe a lot more. Which is pretty good. But this reminds me of Kid Boo's, uh, like, you know, ultimate. From, like, uh, from Fighter Z, basically. Because this doesn't really. Because I think the Divine Ray Bomb, or whatever it is, is when he does it with his future counterpart. You know, they do both the move together. That it's also I think it's also a move in Fighter Z, right? 
where um I think if you uh fuck what was it downright was it uh, no uh, it really depends if you if you're facing like left or right if you're facing left which is mainly the default thing anyway down left I think right trigger you tell Gorgo Black will teleport into the sky they'll Zamasu will appear beside him and they will build up the key blast and then throw it at the opponent which I think is supposed to like be what's happening here but just the way it moves how he brings it above his head and then the camera zooms past his face is literally Kid Buu's uh Kid Buu's super from Fighter Z. it's the exact same thing you can look it up and I guarantee you it's the exact same thing why because I play because recently I've been playing a lot of Fighter Z and you know getting my ass handed to me and he does this weird little, I don't know what the fuck that is. Really weird camera movement. But yeah, that's, uh, you know, like that's my interpretation for the mod and that. So, yeah. oh, they added like heaps of shit now. What the, Jesus Christ. Broly is different, right? Why is Broly different? Because Broly is a fully modded character. He's a completely new character. The, the shading on his character is actually very different. It's more in line with, like, the people who go and make, uh, like, the cell shading more akin to the anime. Which is the first thing I notice. Also, he does, like, a little jump there where, you know, like, kicks him up, bounces on him, and then bounces on him, like, jumps on him again. Which is kind of weird because we don't really get that much fighting in uh like with like base broly or even powered up base broly i guess you'd say where he has the blue hair that is something uh legendary broly does all right let's go by normal Okay, and immediately gigantic charge, which is from legendary DBS Broly, which Z Broly does not use. Gigantic cluster, I think, is a modded version of. Uh, I think it's yeah. And here we go with gigantic meteor, which is only which is something Z Broly in the game does, but is actually from. Broly second coming. Oh, coming? Yep. <laughs> yes, of course. I said that. I'm tired. Which is actually thinking, speaking of Broly second coming, like, it's actually weird because that's the only move, like, Broly only does gigantic meteor in that fucking movie. He doesn't do it in any other movie. Just the second movie he appears in, that's when he does the, like, famous ultimate gigantic meteor which it's like he never does anything like that in the first movie i guess if you want to say he does something like that he does blow up the slow motion planet which actually would have been a fucking awesome ultimate to put in like oh he turns around like faces away from you and then like he literally turns around and fucking throws it at you or something like it loops around comes back behind him and then fucking hits you in the face or some shit that would be cool you know or actually Hell, give him uh, what he does to... I know Vegeta fans are going to be really pissy at me for this, but... You know, just do it. Uh, give him an ultimate, what he does to Vegeta, where he fucking armbars Vegeta into a wall and makes a perfect circle. That would be cool. I am trying to figure out what... Also, I would like to note that Broly in this form is not that tall. Broly, compared to Goku, stands around, I think, maybe, I'm a bit generous, generous right here, 
maybe six foot three, right? He does not stand like at right now. He's almost like seven to seven foot five or something right here. Whereas like his other fucking head would be all the way up here because he's like ten foot or something. He's like ten. I think he's like nine or ten foot in his legendary form. But like Broly, uh, base Broly is around six foot. He's only like uh, like just a head taller than Goku, right? Like he's not that tall. But in this, he's like seven foot, maybe eight foot. That move right there is uh, that move. Even though it's in like a skill set, that is actually something Zebra does. So there is like Zebra move sets right here, if I remember correctly. Okay, I think. Okay, that little grab right there. I was gonna say, like that, I thought that was gonna be uh, Fuse the Masu's grab right there. I don't remember any character who th like throws you up and then hits you and then throws you away. I don't, I don't remember any character that does that. Got a gigantic charge again, which is something Super Bowl only does. Okay, okay. Now I've and now I just realized where that is from. Okay, so when this Broly does this, when he does this weird like power up here and done um, does that that is literally another thing super broly does in the movie so when he so when freezer finally so when freezer kills paragus and then makes broly see it broly snaps turns it turns super saiyan and then this big green pillar comes out of the ground and that broly slowly rises up goku gets ready and then broly like just out of pure rage and anger just starts expelling his energy in this exact same pose so this is literally a super broly pose and move that he does like right there they did change the camera angle to you know not show that but that is what that is I mean the power-up animation is kind of cool but you know uh, okay Idol animation super Broly does. <laughs> Alright, I guess, you know, I guess that's it. There are the Videl and 18 ones, but you probably get the picture at this point that, you know, that these showcases are just modded stuff. You know, no disrespect to modders in that, you know. Modders do a really good job. I wish you guys could do more. Like, please. Please, like... I either, like... I would either, like, I would love to see a mod where... Like... Z Broly goes from, like, his... Powered up state. And this... Im like, explodes. And then changes into... Uh... Leg his legendary state. I fucking love that animation. It is the fucking best thing ever. Like... I have three favorites... In... All of Dragon Ball Media. Which is... Goku Black, Super Baby Vegeta, and Z Broly, right? Like, all the eras of Dragon Ball I grew up with, you know, you got 
Dragon Ball Z, which is, you know, Z Broly and that. Uh, Dragon Ball GT with, you know, Super Baby Vegeta, because I fucking love GT. And Dragon Ball Super in, in the form of Goku Black, which is a character that brought me back into Dragon Ball. You know, I had two that I grew up with, and then one that brought me back into Dragon Ball, which, you know, it like, all awesome. And it's like, and if you guys have, did notice on my banner on my channel, oh, uh, fuck, where is it? <laughs> it's I feel slow. Yeah, this is literally my Fighter Z team, right? Uh, on, I do play on PC now, but on Xbox, like, if I do have my name on Xbox as my game, like, it's mainly just this, but just OG at the end. So if you see that, like, running around on Fighter Z online, it just has OG at the end. That's, yeah, that's me. <laughs> and my color for my team is 12, which is basically just all black. You know. Because I, cause I liked it. It was awesome. I'm not the best on Fighter Z, but I do manage. You know, if you're better than me, then go ham. But yeah. You know, I just wanted to really just kind of debunk this because I see a lot of people, uh, you know, sh like, seeing this and going, oh, is this actually, is this real? You know, like, kind of like the other person. This guy feels like a mod that was straight, that was just straight up imported into the base game. HD model, transforming moveset, custom transformation, his max key changes after transforming. And this is going to be the new standard for Xen for Xenoverse 2, I'm 100% down for it. Well, I hate to tell you, but it, it is a mod. It is, it, it is a mod, so, yeah. So, was someone... Yeah, this is... I hate to tell you guys that if you were very disappointed... I mean... You know... I saw this and I'm like, okay, let me have a look at these videos. And then I saw it was a mod. You know, I basically debunked it for you guys. You guys can look up all the references because I'm too fucking tired to actually... You know... Actually, like, look it up and shit. Actually, you know what? By the time I actually get done editing this video tomorrow, because I'm tired as fuck and I'm not going to be staying up actually doing this video, I'll put in all the references for you. If I can. So, yeah, thanks for watching my almost half an hour video of me debunking a mod. <laughs>